So our equities at the Nigerian stock market begin a new trading month today after logging a 4.4% loss for the month of August. Now we bank stocks to worst hit last week, although valuations look good for some other stocks. Will investors' appetite get a boost in the new week? Mukhtar Mohammed, analyst at Assign Investment, joins me now for a look at the market ahead of the opening bell. Thank you so much, uh, Mohammed, for being here. Now, we, had, we saw last week stocks coming down, bank stocks are worst hit, but it's a new month. And now, first of all, let's look at the trend for a September month for equities markets. What's the usual trend? Well, this, the usual trend has always been like that. Um, we, 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 don't, we don't think we'll see so much activity this September because um, there is no anything to trigger the market at the moment. We're not expecting any trigger for, that will help the market go up because um, the second quarter results of almost all the uh, companies have been released already. So I, I don't see anything triggering the market to go up. Rather, we may still continue with um, in terms of um, seeing the market still going up today, down tomorrow. That has to do with investors' perception of a particular equity. But for now, I don't see the market going up. And people are still apprehensive about what will the bank result look like in the third quarter, knowing that CBN have already tightened the monetary um, regulation to this bank, mostly in the area of um, the public account. So people yeah, yeah, are now... Ba banks are known to be creative in terms of you know, looking for other areas to help you know, boost their balance sheets. Don't you think investors are also taking that into consideration? Investors are taking that into consideration, but the second quarter result is not helping investors see that because uh, we, some, we, we, didn't, we didn't get those big prof profit after tax, like 10, 17, 25% we're having some even doing 2.3, 3.2, you know, the difference normal. So investors are just apprehensive that if when they had this public form, they, they did like this, what will happen without this public fund? So they, there will be one or two results. Investors that are risks, that can take risks, are the ones that will benefit from it. But most investors are not ready to take risks. And we must thank the NNC, if not for the market makers, that were in the market, we may, may, the, the, the result would have the market would have been worse hit than where we are today. So we're looking at a September that will be mostly in negative territory. That's almost odd because you know, obviously many stocks still pretend a good entry point, and I'm thinking four weeks is a long time for the markets to to remain down. Yeah, entry point is different from um, uh, uh, um, getting a good entry point based on individuals. I have. A, I have Individuals of good of valuations, good, particularly for banks. Yes, bank is look at, okay. Then let's look at this stock. This stock is selling so low; it has a good valuation. Uh, you, you, if you look at them, the, most of the big stocks in the market are selling low, and their valuation is good. You look at the stock like UB. You look at even Zenith Bank. You look at even First Bank. You say, oh, good. These are good. Um, even GTB. These are stocks that I can go in. Now. Am I ready to take uh, be a, a long time wait for investors that have long time perspective? This is a good time, but for investors that are short-time players, uh, they will still be a little bit cautious. So, which is more dominant at the market now, the long-termers or the short-term players, the speculators? Um, when you look at it um, now, the way it is now, I think most most people are becoming long-term uh, investors because when you look at the valuation, you, you you think you're still getting a good entry point, then you could you still think you could wait for another three to four months before but when you enter some certain stocks you just think look if I can make a hit here I, I have to run away and some of these stocks that people just enter and try to just make five ten twenty percent and just run away are, are mostly the spending stock mostly in the insurance subsectors but when you are looking at good violation you're looking at heavy capital appreciation you still want to look at those stocks like the banking stock and maybe the food and conglomerate stocks. That okay, so perhaps that's one key factor that portfolio investors will take into consideration because I imagine they probably would be balancing their portfolios, you know, for the new month, going away from the old month, looking into the new month. So perhaps, you know, would they, what sectors do you think they would consider as priority sectors for them, or perhaps defensive stocks, banks, I, I still industrials? Think, uh, I still think investors, mostly portfolio managers, will still take the banking sector very serious. The valuation are low, the PE ratio are very low. They, 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 there's a bright perspective on from the liquidity ratios of the banks are good. The only short shortcoming in the banking is what you just say. How, where would they respond? Would they be creative or not? Because the cost of getting fund is higher now. So this, those are the only things. And, and you know, this bank, nobody will be telling you what they are doing until the result comes and you say, wow, this is what, what they have been able to do. Like rightly pointed, the Nigerian bank are good at being creative mostly when it comes to when you think they are all down and how they come out with something innovative. That would help boost the market, but there's no any right-thinking investors that would take his eye off 
the banking sector. The PE ratio is, is low, the earning per share is high. Okay, so, so they're obviously still very attractive, so obviously we'll keep our eyes on that going forward. So let's talk about today's trading. Well, from what you said, obviously we shouldn't be expected any sharp rise in stock prices, but uh, for you, what would be the top picks for today? Pers maybe your own personal my favorites. My own personal. Personal uh, favorites, top maybe five. My top five, go with, I go with UBA, still the cheapest banking stock as far as I'm concerned. I go with um, Zenith Bank too, still has a lot of value there. I still I, I, I still look at um, I still look at Dangote Sugar, then you look at the uh, Nascom National Salt, then uh, maybe you if you, if you are an investor that really wants to make quick return in terms of dividend payout, Access Bank is not a bad deal because he's, okay. he's paying um, he's selling at ten dollars seventy cover and he's paying twenty five cover. So interim uh, dividend. Interim okay. dividend. So that should be a good stuff for those that are looking at having cash. Very soon. Okay, so we, we, do you think we might see more in, uh, more activity in the insurance stocks today? Because I know that uh, some of them, one or two of them, in the last two weeks, uh, put out their second quarter results. So we did see some active bargain hunting. Do you think that could also that could continue? still continue? But you know, the the, the the insurance stock are becoming the most volatile stocks in the Nigerian market these days. So people go in there to make profit, and nobody is looking at the dividend payout. Everybody just looking at capital appreciation because the the price are low. So when you when some people are buying at seventy, some people are buying at fifty mm -hmm. couple, they just say when it gets to like fifty two, fifty three they want to sell. I think that's what I've not and because the dividend payout is um, two couple, three okay. couple. So when you can make fifty couple, you just tend to maybe four couple, five couple, you just tend to run away from it. Okay. So that is just what is not um, really working for the insurance, but there are quite a lot of good stocks in the current insurance sector and that is where the speculators are really. Now is the market at, in, in any way, taking uh, taking notice of uh, any uh, macroeconomic events outside of the market, uh, perhaps even the political scene. We know, you know uh, the run up to the 2015 elections. That is uh, that seems to be taking the fall right now. Uh, we heard last week Friday the central bank governor saying that uh, forex reserves are falling to around 46 billion US dollars. So any of these macroeconomic factors is the market taking it, paying any attention at all? Of course, that's what's happening in the banking sector. The CBN governor is always looking at 2015. That's why he's saying public funds must okay. reduce. That's why we saw that tightening. Okay. Yeah, so it's already tightening. It's already saying, look, we don't have to wait till 2015 before we start tightening. And again, not to forget that there are still some elections that are happening this year. Okay. And we still have the Anambra state governorship election that is still coming up this year. So when you look at that, and you know when there is an election in a state, it's more or less like there's an election in the federation because all the politicians are involved. So there will still be, um, it, that's where it is coming. But you know, one thing we've seen about the market is that, like you said, the market is, is it, it could respond, it could not respond. It all depends it on the investor's okay. section. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Mokhtar. We're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for it's sharing pleasure, your thoughts uh, with us. Mokhtar Mohammed, analyst at Asar Investment, looking at market trade ahead of the opening bell. That's